We'll do the roll call. All right. Robert Hannon. I'm here. R R Richard uh, Berlandi. David Fox. I'm here. Robert Eisner. Here. Neil uh, Kelsey. Here. Mark S uh, Simpson. Here. Ned, Ned uh, Statchen. Here. Emily Brick. And Robert uh, Canto. Here. All right, Chair, it's all yours. Emily's the only one that's not here, correct? And, uh, and, uh, and Rich. Yep. Rich and Rich. Huh. Okay. All right. I, think I missed Rich. Okay. Thank you. First item on the agenda is Trump One Johnson Avenue, regulated activity with an upland review area for expansion of manufacturing building and associated site work. I think Will is here. The engineer. Yep. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yep. Okay, excellent. Good evening, commissioners. Um, pleasure to be back before you. Um, as you recall, we were back last meeting. Uh, I'm not going to go through the project again, unless you have any questions you want me to, but um, we talked about um, how we were basically the upland review around that existing detention basin uh, down there that has been classified as wetlands just because over the years it's it's receiving flow. Uh, there's a building addition on the east side of the building of approximately an acre and you found no significant impact. Um, since the last meeting we received uh, comments from staff from Mr. Sear. There's 20 plus or, plus or, or so comments. Uh, we don't take exception to any of them. We are in the process of addressing them. A lot of them are simply notes and things like that. Probably the biggest, the biggest change we're going to make to the plans is, if you recall, coming off the roof on the east side, we had a series of seven open bottom dry wells. We're going to remove those dry wells and we're going to put some type of linear underground uh, infiltration system, uh, whether it's going to be a 24 or 36 inch perforated pipe that's horizontal or maybe it's those half moon open bottom uh, infiltration chambers um, and that's going to provide us mm -hmm. more storage volume to treat the one inch one inch of flow coming off the new part of the roof so we're going to be providing more infiltration more storage volume um, and we're going to do that you know and have it reviewed by the by the engineer so um, there is one change that has been made that I don't have a plan to indicate it, but essentially the proposed building is we're now proposing to bump that out four additional feet to the east, and, and that's already a large swath of grass right there anyway, so it's not going to cause any kind of conflict with the parking or the, um, or the sidewalk on the east of the building. Um, that is going to be actually out. All of that is going to take place outside the upper review area. And what we are requesting tonight, respectfully requesting, is an approval by this commission with conditions that we, um, we meet all of the 20 some odd comments to the satisfaction of the town staff. And additionally, that we design an infiltration system, a linear infiltration system in lieu of those seven dry wells to the satisfaction of the town staff. One other thing is that, that we're gonna to commit to is there was some discussion uh, and a request by the staff to make sure that that existing detention basin is maintained. Um, Trump, they do maintain that on a somewhat regular basis, but we can commit to uh, removing that vegetation that's in, that has grown up in there. And additionally, the pipe coming into that basin comes underground and, and pokes into an open bottom dry well and we can commit to uh, taking a look down in there. And if there is sediment buildup, then we'll vacuum that out with the back trucks. We, we can commit to that as a, as a condition of approval uh, as well. So again, you know, more than happy to take any questions, but we are respectfully requesting an approval with all those conditions uh, from this commission tonight. Sorry, PDF 
crashed. I just got the plans back open again. So if anybody has any uh, uh, questions. All right, so um, and actually before I forget, Bobby, you'll be seated tonight. Rich is not here. I think that'll give us the full seven for voting, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So, all right, Dave, I'll start with you, seeing as how Rich and Emily aren't here. You're the next one alphabetically. So do you have any questions or comments here? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Okay, thank you, Robert. <laughs> No questions. Neil? Uh, nothing further. Okay. Actually, Bobby, I'll come back to you. Sorry about that. Oh, that's fine. I got no questions. Okay, Mark? No questions. I'm just glad to see they're going to maintain, you know, those pipes to make sure they're clear of any debris. Okay. Thank you. Ned? Um, I, I don't really have any questions. I have a question. Uh, to Bruce and the town and that are you comfortable with uh, what they've indicated based on your you know that they'll be able to meet your comments uh, you know based on the work that you've gone through so far yes yes I don't have a problem and I and I chatted a little bit with them this afternoon about this new proposed addition here's the actual here's the here's the addition and they're proposing to come out a little further here so we've talked about that and uh, we can address many of those comments as part of the TPZ uh, uh, site plan. Uh, uh, so okay. So I don't have a problem. And, you, and you're okay with the linear uh, drainage chambers as opposed to the round dry wells? You think that'll work yeah, actually, out? I think, I think that'll work out better because we'll get more, we'll actually get more uh, more uh, volume out of it. The, uh, the dry wells were a little short so we, him and I, were bouncing off some ideas, and I think, and I think we're looking at going with a, uh, a pipe run instead, a perforated okay. pipe. So, okay, that's uh, that's all I have. I'm all set. Thank you. And I've got a question to follow up on your notes, Bruce. So, the town is looking for hoods to be installed in the last two catch basins before discharging into the water quality basin. Yes. Yep. Okay, and everybody's okay with that. We're okay on the owner's side. Okay. All right. Um, I really don't have any other questions. Um, not hearing much from my fellow commissioners. Uh, it sounds like we may be ready to go ahead and uh, put a motion on the floor for approving this project. So would somebody care to make such a motion to approve this project with the associated conditions? Yeah, I'll do that. I guess uh, just for the record, um, when you mentioned the, the 20 objects that, that the town required, I mean, our 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 review agenda is has got 13 here. So yeah, I'm not sure your, how to reference the 20. No, I would just I would just uh, reference my 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 uh, engineering uh, and uh, planning uh, uh, comments. These were like the initial notes as part of the initial uh, uh, attend review. Many of these are put into the uh, the official uh, uh, comments, all right? All right, so then I'll make a motion that the towns uh, to approve, uh, as long as uh, the all the, the town uh, staff is satisfied with all their the conditions they've put upon uh, the plans and the, and the changes and updates. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, have a motion to approve the application based on the conditions that are outlined in the engineering comments and, and staff comments. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, so the next item on the agenda was uh, CPD properties, but that's being held back until the 18th. That's, that, that is uh, uh, correct. 
Okay, so that will bring up the application for lot 9523 Plainville Avenue. And the engineer did, uh, he is in here, he is online, so. Yes, this is uh, Jim Jones from uh, Jones Engineering. And uh, I'm here representing um, the turf guys. Uh, this is a proposal for a, uh, a residential lot, the development of it. And um, as the plan shows, you know, we've, we've, we've shown us the um, wetlands as it exists downhill from our from the property, not on the property, but but the 150 foot upland review area is being affected by the installation of a septic system and a, uh, a an infiltration system. These will be at least 80 feet from the wetlands themselves, and uh, we had the, the testing that was done here for the septic system was done previously by uh, Hodge. And uh, th this is where they felt the best location for the system would be. They do have some tests in front. I did investigate putting the system there, but it, it we'd probably have to pump it to get it up into that. You know, it's a little bit uphill. So, and you know, we'd have to raise the system also on the front. So it'd probably end up having to be a pump system, which we are trying to stray away from. So at any rate, that's, that's, that's what we're looking for. Um, there was comment by uh, staff, they're looking to have us put a waddle in as well, you know, as well as the silt fence that we're showing, which isn't a problem, we'll, we'll show that. Did they have another one? Let's see, straw waddle. No, that was it. So that's I mean, it. I don't see a problem with doing that. Any questions? I did. I did include a couple photos just of our little backstory. They had come to us about this lot, and here's the approximate line of the wetlands. Part of a previous application, which I had submitted as part of that, they were actually flagged wetlands right along the back here. So as part of that, we did go out, and it's pretty clear where the wetlands are. And when you go back to this thing right here, you can see the slope. It pitches down, and here's the toe of the slope. The toe of the slope runs right along the bottom of the property line. And uh, Jim's, Jim's uh, uh, company had gone out, staked, staked uh, the property line, and that's what this is right here. It follows it, right it, through here at the toe of the slope. Bruce? Bruce, yeah. we're not seeing any. Yeah, we're not, not seeing, not seeing we're anything other than a list of files. That's all you're saying? Do you yep. see yep. that? I see a hand in a checkbox with NB3. Yep. See, you know what? Are you know you what? <laughs> I should have, I should have just not prepared for the meeting. I should have just not even opened anything up. It's just, it's. Closed. There are days like that. Some days are like that. This is what you're okay. So you see that. So let me see. So if I open up, do you guys see, see that plan? No. Nope. No. I'm kidding. All right, let's do this. All right, one more shot, guys. Screen sharing is stuff. Yeah, I just have to open up a new one. That's all. Okay. Just let me know what. Uh, Do you see that? You see Adobe Reader Help. Oh my God. Can't open a PDF as I read that. <laughs> Are you? Yep. Can't do a PDF <laughs> printing problems. Are you kidding me? No, we're not. Lovely. All right, so it's this, this new screen share. Let's do this. One more shot at this, and then if that doesn't work, you can tell us what we need to know. Right. And photos. That? No. No, it's Only? not opening. All right. So. What's the picture of a wooded animal? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to draw you a picture? <laughs> but what I did is, I, is we did go out and... And uh, we walked the, the back property line and the wetlands follow right along on the, 
on the property line. It's pretty, it's pretty clear that they don't go on onto the property. So uh, I submitted that application with you guys earlier uh, and you could see where, where the, uh, the septic system is. And, I, what, what, and what did we say? It was approximately 7,200 square feet in, in the Upland review area. Um, clearing was to be uh, clearing approximately 80 feet from the approximate location of the wetlands. So um, it's pretty clear. I, I don't think it's a problem to tow the slope. So they, they do show the, the clearing limits. They show the silt fence and we just asked for an additional silt sock to be installed um, along the back. Okay. Um, Ned, I'll start with you if you've got any questions, comments, concerns. Okay. Well, lucky for me, I do have a second screen that is set up. So I, I was able to bring up the PDFs here. Um, on, that, on, that sh on that sheet, the town of Farmington wetlands, deep inland wetland soils, that's line. And then uh, that would be the wetlands line. And then would it would be about 150 feet from that. So I see the line 150 feet upland review. So basically, almost this entire thing is inside the 150 feet wetland review. Yes. Yep. Okay. And... Um, <laughs> And I just um, there, I'll ask an obvious question. But there's no sewer system, uh, you know, that's accessible for this pro for this property. No. no, no, there's not. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, it, it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, I really, I don't have any questions besides that. Thanks, Ned. Mark. Um, no questions. Oh, I got a picture. You got a picture now? Yeah, we have a picture. I think I'm still got no questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neil? You see those pictures? Yes. All right. So there's the wetlands. Here's, here's the toe of the slope. And there's all the wetlands through there. Yeah, I, I don't have any questions at this point. Thank you, Robert. Um, it's an existing lot of records, so there has to be reasonable right to develop it. In terms of the grading, do we have final grading plans? Yes, we do. <clears throat> you asked for these difficult things. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to be able to see it on my computer screen as, as long as we have it, so we can. Can you see that now? Yep. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank so you. they do show the grading. Throughout here, there's the approximate line of the uh, clearing line with the uh, the silt fence through here. The uh, just the uh, testing for the septic system allows it to be put right down flush in the ground. So really, there's going to be no fill in there in the okay. backyard beyond that 362 mm -hmm. contour that you can see there. And the wetland runs right along this back uh, property line here. So okay, great. No further questions. Okay, thanks, Robert. Dave? I have no questions. Okay, Bobby? Good, thank you. Okay, I've got a couple. Has Health looked at this and they're okay with it? No, they have not. Okay, so they're still gonna they, have- They had a, they, there was a preliminary plan sh that showed this like this. And I think they've had, had a look at that. That was, a long while back, that was um, the other engineer, uh, Hodge, had submitted. But they were involved with the testing here. I don't think they're going to have any problem with it. Okay. And then looking at this map, uh, it looks as though the reserve area is the closest to the wetlands. So from the leaching galleries that are the primary, about how far are those from the wetland? I can tell you that here, one minute. Right there. Well, you know, they're 88 feet from the property line where uh, 
Bruce is talking about, but I, you know, they're even further from where I believe the wetlands is, which is you know clo much closer to what the town of Farmington wetland shows out here. So the 80 feet from the corner, the closest point of the primary, 88 feet, I'm sorry. Okay, so the prime, the primary leaching fields, because it looks as though they'd be further away. Yeah. If, if you shrink that down a little more, I think you'll see there is a, a line, town of Farmington uh, wetland line. Yeah. This was yeah, off the map, yeah. uh, Jim. Yeah. This was off the map, right? You think it was off our maps. But yet I have a flag, we have a, an older property survey for this property when yep. there was a subdivision proposed where it showed the flag was right up along the property line here. So. Okay. Okay. And what's the scale on this? It's a 20 scale. Okay. So you're talking maybe the, uh, the, the primary leaching fields being maybe 20 feet further out from where the reserves are. Okay. Um, and do you have any information on what the perk test results were in this area? Yeah. Perk test. Let's see. Which holes were they? They were four through seven. They were pretty good, as I remember. Let's see. Here we go. Down here, three. Can't find them. Two. Three. My God, you heard on here. Oh yeah, here they are. I'm sorry. Um, they're they're all um, in the area ten inches, um, ten inches, one in ten. Okay. Which is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, because when you start getting down into like uh... above twenty is not good. Nor, nor is less than two or so uh, as that's our flushes correct. through. So, okay, no, that's fine. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. I mean, that's all I have as far as questions on it. Um, so first thing is, I guess, can I get a, a motion to accept the application? So moved by Robert. Is there a second? A second. Second. Okay. No, Mark, a, Mark was first. <laughs> have a motion on the floor to accept the application for lot 9523 Plainville Avenue. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Um, people feel comfortable making a decision whether or not it's significant or insignificant? Based, I think what I'm hearing is most people. I think it is not a significant activity. Yeah, it's a it's an approved building lot in between two existing homes, um, and you know they're they're nowhere near the edge of the wetland. They're they're just you know at the edge of the 150 foot mark. So I I don't think it's significant. Okay. Anybody else? Dave, uh, I have a, a follow-up question. I was just okay. looking at uh, that, the older, other map that uh, Bruce was referencing, the uh, Zayko family LLC thing. And that shows a wetland that ends right at the, at the property line. But, it, but just looking at the shape of it, I think it ends at the property line because they didn't investigate the line as it crossed into other properties. It, it almost seems like the, the wetland that's depicted would encroach on this property. Yeah, Mark, what I was saying is that when you look at the, the photos, sorry, I apologize, Dave. Wow. When you look at the photos and when I was out there, it's pretty evident along the property line. I'm trying to look for the photo, but the toe of the slope is pretty much the edge of the wetland. I mean, I'm, I'm not a wetland scientist, but I would feel out of place asking them to have a soil scientist go out there because it's tip, it's the toe of the slope and then it just starts going up towards a lot at that point. So I felt, it was, I felt it was pretty clear and evident where the edge of the wetland was. If you could bring up that Seiko map. Yep. Give me a second here. 
Um, that's this one. You can see it. This is the one. No. Survey. I apologize, guys. This thing, this system crashed on me, and now I'm going back to everything else I had before. Just Plainville. And set. My PDF is labeled Z0229. Yeah, I don't have it here for some reason. Okay. So I notice on this one that he's showing right here, this is when Hodge did this one. Who was this? Yeah. Yeah, and they, they used that town lot ones there, yes. Yeah, there's a town lot line, but but when you go and like I said, that the Zaco map ended at the Zaco map ended at the property line. And that's why I had initially thought it went in there. And then when I went out there, uh, uh Jim's uh company had staked out the whole property line. And I went out there and you could see it's it's pretty evident. It's it's almost like they filled the slot right up to the property line back in the day. You know what I mean? And and it just took off. From, from, from there, I'm, I'm not saying they filled in wetlands. It was filled in long, long uh, a time ago, but it was pretty evident. Okay. Was that it, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody else have any comments on significant or not significant? I mean, I, I don't feel as though it's significant. Um, so I guess from lack of people raising cane about it, I'll ask if somebody wants to make a motion to say this is a non-significant activity. I'll, I'll make that motion, Ned. Is there a second? Second, Mark. Okay. So motion on the floor to determine that this is not a significant activity. So all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? And I'm assuming based on what I heard, people don't need a site walk for this particular property. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. So you have what you need on this one, Bruce? Yes, we got, we'll have to wait. We'll have to push it to the 18th for a, a, a vote. Yeah, well, we couldn't vote on it tonight anyway, but at least yep. we got a couple of things taken care of on it. Okay. Is this, I, I just have a general question. This is that property that was for sale for a while. First, they had a little scrawny little house on it, and then they knocked it down, and then they... Nope. Uh, started, no, nope. that was next to it. That's next nope. to it. It's right here. Oh, okay. I have it. Uh, let's see here. Shows it right on this map right here, the old house. Do you have that? Can you see this oh, map? Yep. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, it's that lot, and it's hard to say. I think that was the house was right. Here. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This yeah. is next to it. This was part of a okay. split that they had done with this, with, the, with this property, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I think that takes care of this project for the evening. Um, next application is 17 Burlington Road. Thank you guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Burlington has been uh, uh, able as well. They called up and said they can't get the whole team. To, uh, okay, together. so this is gonna be moved to the 18th? Exactly. Okay. Any, does anyone have any? Does anyone have any ambition to do a site walk between now and the next me, uh, meeting before, or do we want to just push that off till after the eighteenth? Uh, next weekend's uh, Mother's Day, so I don't think we want to go next weekend, right? They push it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll push it off. Somebody doesn't have a sense of adventure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll give my mother your sidewalk. Bring your mother. <laughs> <laughs> you better I'll give your mother my. Uh, I'll give my mother your uh, email. She can call you and talk, talk to talk to you. Can we All pick right. flowers while we're there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This these are photos we just got today for the. the uh, for the uh, the Mizzy project, all right. 
So this is the entrance road as we come in with Wetland B right off to the side. Still driving on along. Here's the here's the berm, the old existing berm between here and uh, Farmington Avenue. There's the edge of Wetland B again. This is that restored area that they put the uh, the metal mix. And then this is the beginnings of that planted area that they did. This is the other wetland here. And there's the beginning of the new wetland uh, creation area. So <coughs> here's the larger pond. There's a temple over here. There's the access road that they constructed to get over to the pond. And here's the pond itself. I do have emails. George, George Logan, the environmentalist, had sent me some emails today. He said he was out there, but due to the uh, the colder weather, he has not still has not seen anything. There's a uh, nothing in that wetland B, which I showed you as you actually drive in. He hasn't seen anything there yet. And the deep hole to the east of the wetland restoration area has several large green frog frog tadpoles that made it through the winter. The new creation area also had a green frog adults, but did not see tadpoles. What will probably happen in the next two weeks is an influx of Eastern toad breeding and possible gray tree frogs a bit later. Also, it's too early to figure out what will be growing from what we planted or what has been volunteered or that you did not make it. Once this is obvious, we can discuss any additional plantings that would be necessary. All right, and then he did chime in a little, a little later this afternoon. And he's saying that he's feeling that, with that at this time that they should probably remove the silt fence around the wetland uh, creation area. So that would be this area here, showing that, pulling that fence out now, because it's pretty well established. So he, he, he'd like to uh, see that go. So what I'll do is we could have him report back for the 18th and if still uh, nothing the, the week after that, just try to find out what's happening as this spring ever does pop. I'm not sure if it's ever gonna come or not. It's but <laughs> it may go <laughs> it may go straight to summer. So well it's 97 in Vegas, so I guess it's coming this way. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm looking outside. Coming. It does not look like Vegas outside. So no. <laughs> I mean, my my perspective is I don't have a problem because it looks as though it's pretty well stabilized over there. Yep. It may not be a bad idea to pull out the silt fence because that does act as a barrier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does know in there that there is some tears. There, so that's probably not yeah. a bad idea yeah. now that it's pretty well stabilized. But the one question I have is in looking at this map, uh, sort of, again, assuming the top is north, it looks like there's a, a big dirt area that's still... This used to be over here. No, there was not a pile there. directly to, on, along the silt fence. Here, I know exactly no. what you're talking about. At the very right. top of the fence, like the right, very, right in there. Yep. I did. I just that's not that, that probably something that's not something that did not uh, stabilize. Okay. Because so I think I think that was one of the last things they had. They had actually. Uh, yeah, okay. that, so that's that's not a pile. Then would be I think if that's still unstabilized. I would still keep the silt fence in that area. Okay. But maybe, you know, starting the west where it is stabilized, you can see some trees that are fairly close to the wetland area, maybe starting there to take the silt fence out or along the western, southern, and a little bit on the eastern side, but keep the silt fence up where it's still not totally stabilized. Um, I just think that makes a little more sense than pulling it all out. Okay. But I think for the most part, I mean, it, it looks as though things are growing fairly well there. So um, it may make some sense and may actually eliminate some restrictions for some of the critters possibly finding their way over there. That's my take. I don't know about other people, how they feel. Yeah, I would agree with you. I, I would say start at like that 11 o'clock mark where that uh, where that dirt starts and run it all the way up to the riprap around two o'clock and uh, and we can pull up everything else. Yeah. Just leave that. Yeah, that okay. section right there. All right. Any other comments? No, that makes sense. 
Okay. Yeah, I agreed. It's better to do a planned removal of the silt fence. Usually you see it get left behind for years and it does, you know, more disruption when they try and pull it out years later. Yeah. I was asking them the, the, uh, the, uh, we've done a few site inspections with them in the last couple of months and I've been asking them to get that pulled out and he kept saying, wait, wait, wait. And uh, now he went out there and said, yeah, let, uh, let's pull it now. So he's, he feels uh, comfortable that it's pretty well uh, established at, at this what, point. What? Was that just a uh, silt fence or was that silt fence and straw wattle? I think it was, I th think it was both. I think it was both. I'm trying to remember now. Okay. Uh, this may be a stupid question, but um, how does he plan on removing that silt fence? Is he just going to cut it at, ba at baseline or is he actually going to try and dig it up? I, I would prefer if he cut it and leave whatever's into the ground and let it decay away than yep. him disturbing by trying to pull it all out. All right, I'll add that on the list. And uh, I'm gonna make the assumption that this is going to be done by hand and not machinery. Cause yes, I hate to definitely. see machinery go in there and rip everything up again. Definitely, we will not, that, that that's a definite. Okay. So it seems like we're making some progress here. Yep, it's just like I said, if the spring was a little uh, warmer, we'd hopefully start seeing some uh, kind of uh, uh, activity in there, but there hasn't been much, so. And just because part of the state was having frost advisories at the end of April. <laughs> So, all right. Okay. The only other thing I have is just a very short thing on here, and it, it just keep just just reminding everyone that we got a pretty big agenda on the 18th. We've got the hearing for uh, for uh, uh, um, the Maria Road projects. Uh, we have the the uh, 342 Colt Highway. We've got Plainville Avenue, which we just have to uh, uh, make a, a, a vote on. And then we have the the, uh, the 17 Burlington Road, and then I and then I just received an application today for uh, Snowberry to do a uh, water to do some maintenance in the water uh, quality basin. So we do have quite a bit of stuff next uh, month. I mean uh, next uh, meeting. So if we can get in a full uh, uh, allotment of people, that'd be great. That's it. Okay. Uh, next up is approval of the minutes for April 20th, 2022 Inland Wetlands meeting. And I'm assuming that you also wanted to include on that the site walk minutes of April 30th, 2022. Yes. Okay. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes of April 20th and the... Uh, Site walk. Site walk on April 30th. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. So we will close this part of the meeting for wetlands at 7.40 and open up the Conservation Commission meeting at 7.40. So do we have any other business? Uh, we've got no land acquisition report, right? Right. Nope, yep. Yeah. And the only thing I had on is a uh, planner report item. So if you wanna move over, over to that, yep. uh, I've, got, I've got the, uh, we did the uh, hazardous, hazardous household waste. I mean, sorry, the, um, the townwide uh, collection, and these are each 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 uh, location. We had the Mead, Farmington Fire, Irving uh, Robbins, and Tungsis Hose. So they totaled uh, seven hundred pounds worth of uh, worth of uh, garbage that was uh, picked up throughout town. And then Very the household good. and the household hazardous waste is right here, and you could see from the bottom we're right here. Uh, we had 484 Farmington uh, residents um, um, 
attend. So for a total of 713 pounds of, um, of uh, household hazardous waste collected. So where is it right you know here? know offhand where the next household hazardous waste collection day is? No, but I will get that to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Did we get any information on the electronics? That wasn't one of those listed, right? We do. We did get something. I just could not. It was like, I'm not sure if they bundled it. It's like pallets. It was done in pallets. And, and Shannon and I were trying to decipher what it meant. It was very okay. difficult to understand. But they apparently they must wrap it up in a pallet and then yeah. just count it as a pallet is all okay. it was. So there's no weight. There's nothing associated with it. So, okay. And did we get anything in terms of the shredding? I haven't seen anything on the shredding. Okay. So that's it for planner's report. That's it. Okay. So can I get a motion to approve the minutes of the April 20th, 2022 conservation commission meeting? So move Mark. Uh, second, second, Ned. Second, Ned. Okay. Uh, those in favor of approving the minutes, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Um, the only comment I have is, I mentioned this to Robert at the last meeting, is I do expect to be on the line for the 18th. However, I'm not sure where it'll be from. I think it's going to be somewhere around Virginia. Um, so if I run into technical difficulties and can't get on, I just want to give you advance notice, Robert. But I expect to be on. I'm taking the laptop with me, and the hope is that I can access some communication to the town. So just, again, wanted to remind you of that, but I plan on being at the meeting. Yep, and I plan to be on the meeting on the 18th as well. So I believe with that, uh, we actually have a relatively quick meeting tonight. So we will close things down. I've got like 7.44. So pop the popcorn early for the 18th, get your sleeping bags ready because it may be a long evening. So we will see everybody then. Be safe and healthy until the 18th and we'll get together again and do a replay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Take care.